It does brighten your spirits, right? Like who wouldn't love to get this cute little card? How could your spirits not be brightened, right? <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. You bought yourself a Mother's Day gift. Yeah, good idea. Very good idea, Miss Sally. Doing fine. Awesome. I love to hear that, Lori. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the first project that we are going to do today. I loved. So I think this is called Birthday Bonanza. Um, oh, hi, Barb. You know what? I forgot to, did I forget to mention? Tutorial only option, Barb, is um, $15. The PDF tutorials are always $15. Now I'm like, did I mention? So option number one is 46 for the class to go kit, the beautiful friendship class to go kit. Option number two is $26. The PDF tutorial only option number three is $15. And then option number four for my downline is $12 for the make and takes. So I maybe I missed some of that. Sorry if I did. So anyway, okay. But let me know if you have any other questions. Okay. Um, and Barb, I can email you um, a PayPal link if you're interested in that tutorial only option. I can send that to you and we can get you all set up. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. Who knows, right? You, maybe I didn't say it or maybe you missed it. It's hard to say. I don't, I talk kind of fast sometimes too. So, you know, when I'm excited about these things. All right. So we are going to get our things out here. Um, let's see. So these are all the parts and pieces I need. So I'm going to give you dimensions and then we are going to make this super duper cute card right now. Let's see. Sharon is saying my Stampin' Up! order of new stuff <laughs> is your Mother's Day gift to yourself. Well, why not? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so fun. Actually, I think because I never do this, you guys, but so you can pay... Um, to have your order expedited, like a two-day UPS shipping, because it's taking, I really shouldn't even complain about this, but it's kind of getting crazy, because it usually takes maybe like a week and a day after I put an order in to get it. Now it's honestly closer to two weeks, and I'm going bonkers. And in some cases, it's like holding me up and trying to get things shipped out to people. So um, because I wanted all my new catalog stuff, I expedited it and I paid the extra $20 shipping. So it's going to be here today. <laughs> so it's going to be a super fun weekend and fun Mother's Day weekend too with all of the new product. So um, maybe I'll be able to show you some things. I waver between whether I should show you guys new stuff yet or wait a little bit longer because you can't order it yet. So you could, just so you know, I'm totally off tangent here, but um, if you decide that you're seeing a bunch of new annual catalog product and you're like, you just can't wait, if you buy the starter kit, you can get the new catalog product in your starter kit. So if you are interested in that at all, um, there is a PDF that um, Stampin' Up! put together basically of all of the items that um, you can get out of the new annual catalog because you can't get everything right now. Um, it's a select number of products and then even within that you are very limited to how many not that you'd buy more than one stamp set I do sometimes for prizes and things um, but anyway it's a limited how many of each thing that you can even order but if you are interested I can give you more information on what you can order in your um, starter kit too so you can get new stuff because I know other demonstrators online are already sharing new stuff or will be right because they just were able to get their um, orders as well. So anyway, okay, let me know if you have any questions on that. You definitely can get the starter kit and get new stuff right now if you want. So, okay, yes. So you got <laughs> Sharon, party at Amy's. I know, I wish. Maybe we could do it in the backyard, Sharon, and we could like everybody bring a table and put it six feet away from the next person. <laughs> so hey, Barb, you're sewing while you, oh, Nancy, that is insane. 500 masks. Good for you. That is awesome. And I think, um, Nancy, I want to try to pick up some masks. We'll talk about that later, but I'm hoping to get over to your porch this weekend and maybe pick up those masks. So we'll talk later about that instead of on the Facebook Live. Um, okay, so we have, this is Bermuda Bay. We got a full sheet of cardstock, right? Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches or right there. And then along the uh, 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches because we are working with a tall card here today. <laughs> and a winter coat. Yeah. Your table in a winter coat. I know, Sharon. What's up with that, huh? 
Okay, then we have, this is a piece of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. This paper is so stinking cute. <laughs> and yes, they are sending one catalog out to demonstrators. I keep checking my mailbox every single day, Sally, because I've seen other demonstrators post that they've already gotten their catalog. I don't know. Maybe it's just the U.S. Postal Service. You know, they're overloaded, right, because everyone's shopping online. Um, so yeah, things are taking a little while. But yeah, go check your mailbox. Maybe it's there now. Okay, so Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper, super duper cute paper. It's not sold out yet. If you want it, order it as soon as you can. This one measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. And then actually another um, exact same size, Whisper White, five inches by three and three quarter inches that's going to go on the inside of our card. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, have a good time at the vet, Nikki, and we will uh, talk with you later. Okay. Um, next, we also have this piece of designer series paper that kind of cuts right through there. Um, this one measures one and a half by three and three quarters, so that's going to go right on there. And then these are all just scraps of paper that we're going to use to do our stamping and the little party hat we're going to die cut out of that. So let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting and put this cute together, okay? All right, so we are starting. Let me get my bearings here. What do I want to do first? Let's do our lion. Okay, so this is Daffodil Delight ink. Okay, and actually this one is for, this one is for the, the tag. So we're gonna keep that. That's gonna be for that piece right there. Okay, I feel like I already have ink on my fingers. I have done that so many times lately and it's on my um, class to go kit cards and then I'm so frustrated that I'm like, oh, forget it. I'm just taking a picture of the card that has the ink splatter on it and hopefully you guys don't even notice okay so daffodil delight doesn't that look funny but then when you add the rest of the detail in okay we used terracotta tile ink for his mane and his tail you guys will see this you got to keep track of this teeny weeny little tail here too so there's his mane and his tail and we're going to cut those out but first of all we have to give him a face with our black memento ink okay and so we're gonna tap 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 and actually I'm gonna scoot that over here i pushed too hard and he i was like a smushy face so i'm gonna try careful try to be careful yeah oh look at how cute that is so doesn't that just make it like now can't you see the little the little guy He's so cute, isn't he? And you guys, I tell you, I used between the two um, cards that we're gonna make, this stamp set, 22 different stamps in here. I used almost all of them. I'll show you in a sec. We didn't use the koala or his face or some of these bows or the two in the from, but everything else in that stamp set we used between this card and the other one. So you really get a good idea of how you can play with that stamp set. I was kind of determined to do that because I haven't gotten to play with it enough. Um, let's see. So we've got those pieces. We are going to cut these out now. Yep, let's do that because we've got a little bit more stamping, but we'll do that afterwards. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we've got the die cutting machine. So we've got our magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath. Whoops, our paper. Actually, we'll do that in a sec. Let's do these first. So these are the Bonanza dies, okay? And these are all this. So you've got a couple of little banners. That's for the two can. We're gonna use these two right now and we're gonna use that tag also. And there's a little koala and some other, I think that's like the little starburst. So we're gonna take that one out because we need that in a moment. And this is the little party hat. So we're gonna do those in just a sec. We need these two right now though, okay? So the lion's mane and tail go right there in his head and body and we're gonna have to move our paper because things are winging around on us let's see i think that one looks good oh yeah now this is going to be futsy huh okay there we go i think i think we're good all right put our other clear pad on top i already need new plates i feel like i bought them not very long ago and these are really well loved already but they still work even if they have lots of etching in them right okay Let's just pop those little babies out. There we go. Okay. And let's do our other. So we're going to scoot these over. Oh, that is off a little bit, but that's okay. 
Yeah, he must have moved a tiny bit, but we'll work with that. It'll be all right. You probably won't even notice once we put it all together. But now to to not lose that piece that I just flung on the on there again. Oh my. Okay. Um, let's see. What am I seeing? I'm missing some comments. Sorry guys, they kind of blipped right past me. Hey Tammy. How are you? Okay, so we're, this is just, actually, let me show you. This is another little piece of the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. You can kind of see a half of a koala there. This paper's so cute, you guys. If you don't have it, you need it. We made scrapbook pages with it not too long ago. And I loved that paper. Okay, so here we go. And I love this tag, too. I Man, I should have played with that more also. I didn't even quite realize there was a tag in these dies. I was so kind of transfixed by the little animals um, in the set that I didn't even realize there's this cool, look at, isn't that nice? And it even cuts the little hole out there for you to put your ribbon in. So the tag die, thank you for sharing, Tammy. Okay, so let's scoot these little babies out of the way. Okay, now we can do the rest of our stamping and put this card together. And Stormy's coming to say hi too. I think he thought he heard something, but there's nothing here. Okay, so we have our Bermuda Bay ink, and we are gonna stamp happy birthday on the bottom of that one, and then we're also gonna grab our Whisper White. I've got, so can I get that off of there? There's like a little bit of adhesive, and it's right exactly where I always work. So if I had my little adhesive remover, I'd use that, but your finger works too, just keep rubbing there, okay. Now maybe things won't stick. And then we have our sentiment. And I'll tell you what it says right after I stamp it. I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Ha, huh, how cute, huh? Hey, Charlene. Oh, what's Tammy saying? You have to go back to work? I missed it, Tammy. I'll have to read that back later. What else am I looking for? Oh, the Daffodil Delight ink. Because we have to do couple of these little starburst thingies. I thought these were kind of cute. So, you know, do those there and there. Yeah, okay. So that is that. Now we are going to build our little tag here. I'm going to put these up here because I know I need some of these colors. Again, I can't remember which ones even. Okay, let's make our little buddy here, okay? And actually, you know what I need to do is grab... This little silicone craft sheet, let's put everybody on here. You guys can still see there, okay. Let's do that. And my little tail. <laughs> this teeny tiny little piece, right there we go. Okay, so on, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of most of these things, because we're gonna just build this little buddy right up, okay. So one on there, one on there. We're gonna use a little baby one because that's kind of small right there, okay? So let's get him built, first of all. Um, <laughs> we're gonna build him right on here, actually. Okay, so let's put his body on here first, okay? And then we're gonna put his mane is gonna go right about there. And then we're gonna put his face on and then we'll add his little tail and his hat. Oops, so you can see these, there are um, some little parts, but it really um, goes together pretty easily. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of adhesive there and a little bit of adhesive on his tail. We're gonna put the tail right on there, and then the hat, the little party hat, is gonna go right on the top of his mane. We're just gonna press down on those. There, so you can see that was pretty quick and easy, right? And if it's sticking, I kind of wanted it to, you know, to stick, but not like stick down on there. So you just kind of pull that back up, okay? Now we have, <laughs> okay, so this is the very end of my crushed curry crinkled seam binding ribbon. <laughs> and we're using it, okay? So we're gonna just loop this over. And I think, I always get confused about which way this goes and it's better to keep it on here. I with this one had this teeny tiny little piece and was trying to like loop it around and get it stuck in here and let me tell you what it was not the easiest thing in the world. So it's easier to work with like a little bit longer piece and then you can kind of trim things off. So that was right. Okay so you loop it in half and then the loop goes toward the back. Okay and then these ends you're going to open up that loop right there and then put those things through. 
like that. There, that is how that works. Oh yeah, yesterday was a bit of a struggle <laughs> trying to get that card together. Actually, we're gonna trim it down a little bit more. That's gonna be too long. There we go, okay. Yes, the very end. That, re that ribbon is retiring too. Um, so yeah, you gotta order it while you can. It works perfectly, that bright yellow, that kind of crushed gray, really pretty yellow. Thank you, Susie, I'm enjoying it too. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals on the back of that little guy, and then we can put our card together. So we're gonna scoot these over here. Okay, so again, love the bright, bright colors on that paper too. So cute. So, and you know, it's funny, you kind of think like, oh, this is maybe, you know, for a little kid or something, but um, I think I would even love to get this birthday card. My brother-in-law's birthday is actually on Sunday, on Mother's Day. <laughs> Um, so who knows, maybe he'll get this card from me. He lives right around the corner, so I don't have to worry about mailing it. So that's good. So I still have some time to decide what birthday card he should receive, but maybe this is the one. He might think it's kind of cute too. <laughs> that happy birthday, we'll put him right on there. And then we're going to put the sentiment on the inside. Yes, super duper cute and adorable. You guys, I agree. Thank you. And it's all about this suite of products, that birthday bonanza. I'm going to grab my catalog because you guys all know, right? But just in case, if you haven't been peeking at your catalog, right? Let me see. Oops, I should have it marked and I don't, but I think it's right here. Yep. So it's this whole suite, the birthday bonanza suite right here. So here is our birthday bonanza designer series paper. This is not my highlighted catalog. All of a sudden I'm like, I know that's retiring. Here's the bundle. It's only $38.50 for the stamps and the dies too. So it is a good deal. These pom-poms have already sold out. So just forget about those. Okay. Um, the Daffodil Delight ribbon is rolling over to the next annual catalog. Hey, Heidi, how are you? And then here's another closer look stamp set and the dies and you can see all of these things that are kind of highlighted in white the dies cut them out so love <laughs> yes please case it anna i would love that that is the point of what we are doing here is to share with others so i would love for you to make one of these cards <laughs> it's totally worth it okay so we're going to clean things off here i got my chamois i don't know i'm trying to remember if i used any of these but while i've got it out i'm just cleaning everything off Okay, so we will do that. I know, I wanna make a bunch more of these. I wanna, oh, this is always such a hard time of year, guys, isn't it? When the annual catalog, when everything's retiring and like, oh, 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 I wanna play with these things some more. You guys probably think I sound funny, but you know, that's how it is. Okay, so that was, I guess I should say that, right? There was card number one. Okay, look at how cute, happy, happy birthday, right? Okay. So I'm gonna scoot that right over there. 